Good evening, everyone. Susan Campfield here. I hope I'm not muted. I think we're okay. <laughs> Welcome to my craft room. I'm Susan Campfield with SueStampfield.com. I am so glad that you're here with me. How are you all doing? It is a beautiful day in August here in Minnesota. I see from the comments there's rain in central Iowa. Yes, my mom is in central Iowa. She told me it was raining there and they really, really needed it. So uh, yay for rain. So hi, Janine. Hello, Melissa. Jean is here. Nancy, Kay, Deborah, Gloria. Oh my gosh. Thank you, everyone. Mabel's here. Bonnie, Sue. Gang's all here. Hi, Merle. How are you? And Nana's here from the UK. They're having storms in the UK as well. And Sure is here from Pennsylvania. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Thanks for hanging out with me. We picked, I like really ready. I don't know why. <laughs> Not having a hot flash yet. Not yet anyway. That might change. So welcome everyone. So glad that you're here. Um, we're going to create a card tonight and I hope you'll help me by um, uh, helping me decide on which products that we're going to use. Uh, I love it when you vote and I love it when you leave a comment. Let me know that you're watching. If you're catching me on the replay, hey, Thanks for tuning in. Uh, you're never late here. It's always the perfect. Okay, while we're back, let's hope we stay back. I'm going to go ahead and flip cameras. So welcome everyone. Susan Campfield here. We're going to make a card tonight and I'm hoping you'll help me. We're going to decide. We're going to we got some decisions to make here. So I'm hoping that you'll help me. Yay, I'm back. I'm so happy I'm back. You guys are so patient. Thank you for hanging out. You that was a good like 10 minutes. So, mm, crazy. All right, we're going to flip cameras here and we'll get this party started. All right. So, excellent. So sorry everyone. Goodness. Oh, technology. So tonight we're going to play with a bundle. Um, Ringed with Nature is the name of the bundle. And it comes with these super cool, awesome dies um, that are paired with a folder. So like you get the die set, it comes with the embossing folder. So these are the tree ring. Um, is that what they're called? The tree ring dies? Mm don't know what I did with the paper, but I think so. <laughs> so I'm all, I'm all flustered now, you guys. Oh my goodness. Deep breath, right? Deep breath. So we're going to play with these tonight. They are so cool and they make some really amazing all occasion cards. So I'm really excited to play with this one and so happy that you're here uh, to participate in that. So I uh, wanted to mention, I did uh, send out the uh, project sheet email. Hopefully that I'm so happy I'm back too. <laughs> Yay. Uh, oh, and you got your dinner ready, Kathy? Oh, good. What are we having for dinner? Because we haven't eaten either. <laughs> um, so uh, I just recently sent out my project sheet email. I was going to show you what projects were in it, but I can't remember now. Oh, sure I do. The, this was one. These beautiful fall cards were in here with the 3D um, leaf fall embossing folder. So that was one, one set of the projects. And I can't remember what the other one was. If you're not uh, subscribed to the project sheet, it's a great way to get inspiration right in your inbox. You can go to SueStampfield.com and click on subscribe to sign up for that. Um, and I usually send out, it's, it's, it's averaging out about three per month, sometimes four per month. Just depends. So um okay i'm gonna make that go away so the i often get questions the cards and things that i show in my videos those usually are written up as project sheets and go out in those emails so that's how you get the measurements so make sure you sign up for that so that you don't miss out i have a random pearl <laughs> that has found my finger and wants to be friends so isn't that nice it's not off this card. So after our last video, I made this card. Um, where's the one we made in the video? Mm. Oh, goodness. You'll, you won't believe it, you guys. My desk is a little messy. Shocker, I know. No, it's not a shocker. Up, oh, And there's the culprit. I see a missing pearl right here. So these were the festive pearls that we used for this card, which are actually soft, succulent colored. And we did the step fold card. 
And then after the video, uh, you, you folks had chosen the, the gold star, which is absolutely lovely. And you chose the evening evergreen card base, which I really liked, but I wanted to see what it would look like in her other option, which was, oh, whoops, that doesn't belong, <laughs> which was a white card base um, with uh, the, I guess, very vanilla glimmer paper. It's kind of iridescent that's in the set. So I did another tree. This one I used the standard pearls. Um, dare I say regular plain pearls, but the regular pearls um, and uh, in the step fold. So just wanted to give you a heads up. Unfortunately, right after the video, um, I think later that evening or the next day, the uh, this designer paper did go on back order. Um, and so that means it is not orderable right now. However, nobody panic. It's going to be back in stock uh, the first week of September. So it should be orderable again at that time. So it's coming back. I'll give you a heads up when it's back in stock. So, all right, now we've done a little catch up here. So we're going to make a card today. We are going to be working with some white cardstock. And we're going to do, um, you know, before we do, we're going to decide what embossing folder we want for the base of our card. But before we do that, we're going to make some tree rings here. Uh, for my tree rings, for right now, I'm just going to use the dies. So let's bring in our die cutting machine. This is going to involve Susan <clears throat> moving some things out of the way. Okay. Ah, so glad we are back. Salmon and apple fritters and watermelon. Well, yum. Janine, that sounds amazing. All right. So we have our embossing folder here and we have the tree ring dies. I'm going to take this big one. Now there's a couple ways that you can do this, but this this uh, um, die is made. It takes me a minute here to figure this out. It, it goes right into the um, embossing folder and you can cut it that way. Or um, I'm going to flip it around like this. Um, so it just nests right in there and you can cut it all in one go. Or um, you can emboss and cut separately. It's, it's up to you. The... Um, if you do cut them together, I just want you to know it does make a mark in your folder. Can you guys see that kind of a little cut mark there? If that's going to bug you, do them separately. Okay. Does that make sense? You would emboss and then cut, or you would cut and then emboss either way, whichever um, you're more comfortable with. Uh, I don't care <laughs> if it has a mark because I just care if it works. So I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. And I am going to close my folder up and I need some things here. All right. So I'm going to get my number four plate and I'm using the, let me spin this around the number one platform and the number four plate. I've had some questions if um, if people have the, this is the, the newer machine from Stampin' Up. People have asked if they have the big shot, um, what would you do for, the, for that? Um, so the three folders do work with the specialty plate, even in the big shot. So this is an orderable item that you can get if you don't have this thicker plate and you have some 3D folders or want to get some. Um, they do work together, um, depending on the age of your um, your big shot. If you have the old style that has the flip up tabs, you might need to play around a little bit with the tabs. I always start with no tabs <laughs> so that you don't, you know, accidentally break the folder and then um, play, we go up from there, if that makes sense. So I'm going to open this up. I've already got some hopping out. <laughs> so we have just made some cute little tree rings here. So these are in early espresso. I've got a whole bunch. Now this paper, um, I'm only going to use one on this card, but as long as I'm cutting them, heck, I might as well cut a whole bunch and then I can make a whole bunch of tree ring cards, right? So I'm going to cut them all. They're all varying sizes. Um, if you want to do that, you're going to want to cut your paper to four and a half inches by six inches and that's going to be the perfect size to get all of those if you don't care um, if you just want one you can just cut a piece of paper the size of the ring that you want right 
So um, this one is, um, are we done with that one? I got to think for a second. Yes, I'm done with that one. All right. So now I've got an option here. So we can take a piece of crumb cake. We can emboss it and then die cut it with the inner portion of these tree rings. Or we can um, cut these and then emboss the individual ones. I think if I do that, I'm going to get a little deeper impression. I did try it both ways. And I think that's what I ended up liking. So let's try that. Let's go that road. So I'm going to add in a couple things just for die cutting here. So I've got one. I'm going to add in number two and add in a number three plate. Now, you don't have to memorize this or be watching the video. It's always right here, right on the, the parts in the machine. It walks you right through what you need. So no worries. So I'm just going to pop on these various rings and cut them. Is that how I want to do it? You know what? Let's, let's do an experiment. Let's see what it looks like this way. Sorry. Changing my mind. Hold up. We'll do that in a sec. We'll do it both ways so you guys can see what you think. All right, so I'm going to put it the six by four and a half inch piece of crumb cake in here and just uh, just with the number one platform and the number four and send it through. So I'm just embossing it right now when I um, you can actually put I think this is what I did. You can actually put these little guys right in there. But when I did that, it, they didn't emboss as deeply as the other one. Um, can you see how deep this is? Let me see if I've got one here that's... Um, so here's one where I uh, first, uh, where I put the, the dies in first. So I dropped these guys right in here and then added the paper. When I did that, it, it just didn't emboss as deep as I wanted. So I like doing it better separately. So it's not a whole, hugely different, but just a little bit lighter. So yeah, I don't know. I'm picky. What can I say? I'm picky. If you don't care, you could do it all as one. Will it damage the folder over time beyond the marks? Not that I, I mean, it was actually designed to be used this way. So I don't believe so, but I, I, I'll let you know. <laughs> um, I plan to keep using it that way because that was the way it was intended um, to be used. So I, I, I'm, I feel confident in, uh, that Stampin' Up wouldn't have told me to do that if that wasn't the case. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. But I'll let you know, Janine. Um, if I see it, you know, if it does get damaged, I just call them and they, they fix it. They're really awesome about that. So if you ever have a Stampin' Up product that you um, is, you know, not working as it should, and you per whoever you purchase it from, if it's from me or another demonstrator, if you're a demonstrator yourself, just contact Stampin' Up or contact your demonstrator and they will take care of it. They're very good about that. Okay, so I've got all these lined up. So I'm cutting out those inner pieces of my rings. Am I look? Oh, <laughs> I can't tell if I'm straight or not because I'm, the camera can tell, but I can't tell. That one looks just moved on me. Ah, oh well. We'll just see what happens. Right. I'm not going to let that machine go too far away because I'm going to use it. So it did flatten it out a teeny bit, but not, um, I thought it flattened it out more the other way. So again, you can try both ways and maybe with your machine it will um, be different to have them done all in one shot. It certainly would be, I suppose, a little faster to do it all in one go. All right. But sometimes fast isn't always the best way to go, right? Okay. You think doing it the way I was doing it looks good? Excellent. I agree. We're on the same page there. So now we can take these and we can make these um, tree rings. So it's this fun little game. Who likes puzzles? 
I love puzzles. So it's not, it's a pretty easy puzzle because you just find the smallest inside one with the smallest outside one. And you know that it's, so it's, they're sized. Um, and then once you find the right size, you just flip it around until the little notches match up and it looks good, right? So let's see who's next smallest. I think this one is next smallest. And what I like about these is, um, you know, nature cards are good for so many different things, right? Like, um, it just, you know, all occasions. So we're going to play around with some different occasions there. So we've got our tree rings um, lined up here and I can go ahead and adhere them. Um, use a variety of, I'm going to use a uh, seal for these. I also have used uh, multi-purpose liquid glue. Seals just, I think, a little faster to me right now. So let me hold this up. So now we've got this cool slice of a tree. <laughs> so pop this in and I don't even need all of these so maybe I shouldn't be doing all of them but it's gonna bug me if I don't so bear with me here we, we might have to I think we're gonna make two cards tonight hope you guys are cool with that so I'm tempted to say maybe three, but don't let me say that because I've got a lot of crafter noon things I got to take care of to get ready for our big event on Saturday. Who's joining me on Saturday for crafter noon? It's a public video and it's where I share a unique fun fold and show you the basics on how to make that fun fold. And if you placed an order with me last week, there is a packet winging its way in the mail to you. And uh, you can make it along with me, which is going to be super fun. So here's our little tree rings. We've got a whole stack of tree slices there. Now on this, um, on, <laughs> I made a mess, you guys. Look at this. Oh my goodness. All right, let's 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 tidy that up, shall we? Um, on this set of dies, there are how did I have it? I had it all on here. Um, there are some other fun little dies and I think we're going to cut some of those because we might want to use those in what we're making tonight. I don't know what we're making but we're going to figure it out. So this right here, how cute is that? That is a little acorn cap and this piece right here can be the bottom part of the acorn. It also actually can be a mushroom. These are the stems. I could not figure out what, what these were for. I had to ask my friend, Linda Dalkey in Australia, I'm like, oh, uh, Linda, what are those? And she's like, oh, they're mushroom stems. So she helped me out there. So I don't know if you can see that. There's a little mushroom cap with its little stem. So you can make little mushrooms, super cute. But we're gonna do, we're gonna make, we're gonna make a couple of acorns here. So I'm gonna grab that. I'm also going to grab, I'm not 100% sure what we're using, but I'm going to grab this little um, bow with some leaves and some berries. And this one, hey, someone's joining me for Crafternoon. Awesome. Um, these two are the same. They're a branch with leaves. Well, I should say, I don't think they're, I think they're the reverse. Okay, they're not exactly the same. They're, they're, they are slightly different. Can you see how they're a little bit different? They're similar, but a little bit different. So um, I'll grab that one. Okay, so let's, let's do a little more die cutting here. Why not? All right, let's bring you back in. I'm still all flustered from the internet. <laughs> going wonky on us. So, you know what, before we um, die cut these pieces, I would like your advice, or while I die cut those, why don't you guys think about this? Um, for our card base, we're going to do some embossing. Should we use the leaf, leaf fall embossing folder? You can just say leaf if that's the one you want. Should we use the timber embossing folder? Or should we use the fern embossing folder? So, uh, leaf, timber, or fern. Let me know which one you prefer. 
Oh, you know what? There's one more we could use. We could also use the tree rings. Always an option. So while you guys are voting on that, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of cutting here. I have some of the uh, brushed metallic cardstock. This is uh, when you get the brushed metallic cardstock, which, by the way, is a free celebration choice right now. You get uh, three colors. This is the copper that comes in the pack. You get two 12 by 12 sheets of the copper. You also get um, the bronze, which is the lighter color, which is the lighter color. I'm stalling because I don't know where I put it. I left it across there. Oh, no, here it is. Um, the bronze, which is the lightest color, and also gold, which is kind of similar to bronze, honestly. There we go. Let's see. I am seeing all votes for a lot. Oh, I see a lot of ferns. I'm seeing a lot of ferns. Mm, that's interesting. You guys always surprise me. I don't think I even, um, that was a last minute thing. I thought, oh, I wonder what this one would work. So cool. All right. So I'm going to cut an acorn here and I'm going to make the acorn copper and I'm going to make the acorn cap uh, bronze. And as long as I'm sending this through, oh, let's, let's do this little leaf with the little berries on it in copper as well. I don't even know if we're going to use it or not, but what the heck. Might as well, right? And, you know, while I'm at it here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's let's throw this one on in early espresso. All right, there, I've got four things. Would want to crank, you know, and not get maximum benefit from my cranking. So I'm going to get four die cuts for that. I'm a lazy stamper. What can I say? <laughs> leaf, fern, timber, leaf, 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 falling leaves, timber, timber, fall, <laughs> fern, 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 leaf. Hmm. All right. I think the leaf might have edged out. So we might have to do, uh, like I said, we're making two cards. So we uh, might just have to make two different, uh, use two different uh, backgrounds here. All right. So we've got our, our little cap there. And if you can see how it embossed the little marks in that. And then we've got our mushroom slash acorn. Today it's an acorn in the, in the copper. And then we've got this pretty piece here. Pop that out. And this one right here. I know you're thinking brown leaves. How depressing. It's kind of polished though, isn't it? Let's poke that out. Got some leaves there. Okay. And now I need another set of acorns here. So I'm going to do another cap. And the reason I cut off the copper is if I don't, um, it'll transfer the marks from my top plate into the copper and I can't use it. So that's why I cut it to sides. Send it through. And we're going to emboss two pieces. We're going to emboss one with fern and one with uh, the leaf fall. All right. Pop this here. Sorry, I'm open the camera. My apologies. How much of a mess are we making today? <laughs> it's not good crafting if you don't make a mess, right? Okay. There we go. Let me slide this back. I'm going to remove everything except for platform number one. And here is the Fern 3D embossing folder. And as usual, I've completely buried everything. There we go. Pop that in there. And we need the number four plate on top. Send that through. I apologize for that ring because it is, uh, I have a ring light here, so it does reflect. There we 
go. There's the fern. And let's grab the fall here. Love this folder. I love, love, love this folder. You guys knew that already, didn't you? Um, is that how I want to do it? Let me think. I'm thinking, yeah, that works. We'll go with that way. We'll go that way. So it's it's set up to be swirling leaves. So there's part of, parts of the folder that are plain and parts that it just comes across. So you want to stop and think for a minute on where your maybe focal point is going because that can go in an area where there's no embossing, if that makes sense. All right. We may or may not be done with that. I'm not going to have it go too far away. All right. So here we have our leaf falls. It seems to me that acorns and leaves kind of go together. And so this one, I we might not even do a tree ring on this one at all. We might just do, oh, hold the phone. I've, I've lost... I've lost an acorn. Hmm. Uh, dang. All right, let me see if it's stuck on the plate. Oh, yep. Found it. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Here we go. All right, we found our, our acorns have been recovered here. So I'm going to just grab a couple dimensionals here. Uh -huh. Maybe should. Uh... Oh, we don't need Susan to be humming, do we? Okay. There we go. Set that aside. And let's see what this looks like. I put a very skinny layer of early espresso behind it. <coughs> Excuse me. Here, we're going to go ahead and stick on our um, acorns here. I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of the acorns. And then the acorn caps. I'm actually going to utilize the little scrappy bits. I don't know if that's what I call them. So when you use your dimensionals up, you have all these edges around the sides. And I'm going to use a couple of those for the caps on my acorns. If you have mini dimensionals, you could also use those. You might have to cut them in half. Um, but these fit just perfectly. Let me hold it up and you can see. So that little point is going to go right into where the stem is. And then the flat part lines up with the cap. Hopefully you can see that. And then I'm going to take one of my little acorns. Well, let's stick it right there. It's a little cap on. I love acorns. I did when I was a kid. I don't know. They're just something really cool. About them. And I know in Australia, they don't have oak trees. I don't think they have gum trees and other kinds of trees like that. All right. So we've got our other acorn there and let's peel the backing off of this. It would also be pretty on very vanilla cardstock. You're absolutely right. Catherine Monroe. There we go. So we've got a couple little acorns there with the fall leaves. It also would be pretty in a fall color. You could do cherry cobbler or Cajun craze um, or crumb cake would be good too. Lots of options. Um, and then you could take a greeting. Um, you could do a happy anniversary on here because you've got a pair of acorns. Anyone have any grandkids or friends that had a September or fall wedding? Um, or these are out of the set. I'm kind of cheating here because I had some that I had done ahead of time. 
I also have, oh, hmm, I had to get well soon, but it's run amok. So, oh, here it is. I found it. Could also do get well soon. So why don't you let me know which one you think we should do with our acorns. Uh, happy anniversary or get well soon. I'm going to go ahead and stick this down while you decide on our greeting. <laughs> you keep seeing a face on the acorn. <laughs> the squirrel buried the acorn. That's why I couldn't find it. That was the problem. I've got three anniversaries and two get wells. So the anniversary is squeaking out. We might use the get well on our next card then. My niece just had her wedding anniversary. I'm going to say, is it their, hmm. oh boy, not very good at that, their third. <laughs> so this would be a good one to send to them. All right, and then we're going to add our happy anniversary sentiment here, and we'll hang on to that get well soon and use it on our next card. But you could, this could be birthday. I mean, really, this could be thinking of you. I mean, this could be a lot of different things, right? Thinking of you is actually pretty cute. Um, I didn't give you guys that choice. All right, should we go? We got to narrow down to happy anniversary or should we do thinking of you instead? These sentiments, by the way, are all from the set that's bundled with this. <laughs> um, you got your new copper paper, Sue? Yeah, you need to make one of these. All right, thinking of you or happy anniversary? Because, you know, the thinking of you could be on the outside and the happy anniversary could be on the inside, right? Still, Paul is still going anniversary. And then I think we're going to add, let's see, we cut out another little thingy. What did, what did I do with it? The die here. Oh, there it is. It's just upside down. That's why I can't see it. We could add this behind our little um, sentiment as well. So we're going to go with, looks like the uh, the anniversaries have it. <laughs> Scrub oak trees. That sound, they sound they kind of tiny to me, smaller sized. All right. So we'll put our happy anniversary right here. And then this can kind of tuck right up there. In fact... If I can tuck it under my dimensional, will that work? Hmm. Not sure how secure that is. I might need to just shore that up. I think I will. And I kind of like just having that leaf uh, wrap over the banner a little bit. The banner, um, I did cut this before we started. This was with the Stylish Shapes dies. Big surprise. I know I use them on every video. I love them. All right. I think I want to just um, secure that a little better. So I think for this one, oh, what do I want to use? I might do a do blue dot and a, uh, a new dimensional. And let's move on to our next card. All right. Yeah, so I'm putting a glue dot and I'm sort of folding it or, well, it's really mushed more than folded. I just mashed it. <laughs> And I'm going to tuck that and so I can secure it with my banner. And then I'll tuck another little halfsy, half of a mini. There's the half a mini right here behind the other leaf. Now, it would have been a lot easier had I put that on before I stuck it on, but I didn't do that. So that's okay. We can, we can do this, right? We're, we're crafters. We can make it work. All right. So there we have a very simple anniversary card. Now you absolutely could add some embellishments to that if you wanted to. I'm going to think about that. Let's set that aside for now. And let's look at our tree rings. So what was our second one that we embossed? And more importantly, where did I put it? Aha! Found it. So we've got some ferns. We're going to go with 
a great nature look here. We're going to grab a tree ring. I don't know which one we want to use. And then do you remember how we... Hold that thought. <laughs> how we cut die cuts our, um, our stem here in brown. So what you can do is you can actually cut one in each color and then you can pair them up. So I'm digging because I have another one that is already done. It's just being very shy right now. It's totally run away. Run away. Um, I had one with old olive leaves that was quite nice, but it's missing. <laughs> oh, golly. It's okay. I can cut. I've got a piece of old olive right here. I can make it happen. It's just frustrating when you know it's right here and you can't find it. Does that ever happen to anybody else? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. But while I'm cutting it, I want you to let me know if we're going to do um, uh, cherry cobbler leaves on this or if we're going to do old olives. So let me just show you what the cherry cobbler ones look like. So you can do it two ways. You can cut off the leaves and glue them over the brown ones, or you can glue the brown one, the, just cut off the leaves here and glue, glue the stem on this one. Just, I'm not saying that very well. <laughs> you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just going to be quiet and show you what I mean. How about that? So I'm going to put a little multi-purpose liquid glue on the brown leaves, and I'm going to cover them up. Conversely, I could have cut the brown leaves off and uh, glued this brown stem onto the cherry cobbler piece. So if I was going fall colors, I would have this little branch. And if I was going with, uh, hang on a second here. Make sure I'm cutting the right one. I'm cutting the right one. Switch over, everybody. I'm still flustered from the internet while not working, you guys. <laughs> I don't know why it just threw me off my game tonight. So sorry. Tree rings would be nice for an anniversary, also for birthday, right, Janine? Because, you know, count how many rings old you are. <laughs> be good for a lot of things. And also anything masculine, um, I think that would be good for. Because nature is always good for masculine, right? All right, you know what's going to happen. As soon as I make up this stem with the green leaves, I'll find the one that I already had ready on my desk because that is how things work, right? It's kind of a Murphy's Law deal, isn't it? All right, so we've got the same. Oh, wait, I did cut that backwards. Hang on. I've got another one here. Here, i got one here. Okay, you got to make sure you're using the right die, and I didn't. All right, so this time... Um, uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut off the green leaves and I'm going to glue them onto this. You don't have to do it. You could do it all in just green. That would be totally fine. Um, if you're fastidious <laughs> about um, brown stems and green leaves like I am, then you could do it this way. We have options, right? We hate technology, but it's necessary. Yeah, it's great when it works because, <laughs> you know, we wouldn't be able to hang out like this if we didn't have technology, right? But then when it 
doesn't do what it's supposed to do, that's when it gets frustrating, right? All right, so this looks a little big to me. I think we might want to use, should we maybe do one that's not quite so huge? And we can have our little piece here and um, put our get well sentiment. Where did that go? Get well soon here. We can put those together. Maybe I do want, let me try it with the bigger one. Roll my log <laughs> in there. Yeah, maybe maybe I will do the bigger one. Got our get well soon right there. Bring that up. Let's put the fur in there. Very nature look to it. This is what it would look like with um, if you wanted to go the fall road. Like so. Still it's all right. Okay. So you could also do um, like we did before, with a little bit of copper. So many choices, right? I, I kind of like the green leaves myself, so... The, it makes the leaves more in the foreground. I think especially with the kind of go just with this nature feel, because this one would go year round, right? Um, all year round, that would work. So <laughs> you'd like the red leaves? Yeah, that would be great for fall, wouldn't it? Um, you could, this is really pretty too, um, die cut in cherry cobbler. I was trying to find it. Oh, here's, here's one right here. That's what that looks like in cherry cobbler. So this is what I was saying. You don't have to mix and match like this one's really cute just um in one color with the berries and the leaves um because in fall we do have the red leaves so that one works you know either way so so many options right and then a lot of these little um so i got the one with the berries we've got these leafy stems and then there's these uh two here that have more leaves and those are really pretty in copper as well so I'm just going to make an executive decision here. <laughs> sure I am. And I'm going to go, I'm going to attach, I'm going to go with the green one for this card. And put on some dimensionals. Yeah, Janine's saying that you got to be careful on birthdays that you don't mention how old they are. So yeah. They can count their own with the tree rings. You know, I don't know. I'm popping this up with dimensionals. I'm not sure that's the right way to go. Maybe, maybe uh, glue dots would have been a better way. Um, this, you know, just, just playing around here. This could also come off the side. This also, the whole card could actually be orientated this way. Um, let me try that and see what we think. And then I've got my get well soon right here. I kind of like that. My ferns show up a little bit better. I'm just going to flip it around here. And let's stick this down. And I think the tree ring I'm just going to attach with some regular adhesive. Let's center that a little bit more. How's that? Is that look kind of sort of centered? Kind of sort of. <laughs> kind of sort of. There we go. All right, and now we're just going to put some adhesive back here. And actually, before I stick that on, let me grab my layering piece here. And put that down. So this embossed piece is four by five and a quarter. This layer is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Supposedly. It's a little long. Hold on, I'm gonna trim that up just a bit. Grab our card base here. And 
I don't think I cut that quite right there. That looks better. That looks better. And my card base and fold it in half here. Do a handy dandy bone folder. And we'll finish up our card. And I wanted to show you one more. Um, we're not going to make this card, but one more idea that I had for these tree rings. Uh, but I do like the versatility of these. Um, it also comes with a house, so it's great for a uh, new, new home. So I'm gonna stick that on there. And then we were going this way, correct? So there is just a clean and simple get well soon and then we've got our happy anniversary cards very simple again you could absolutely add embellishments to these if you wanted to jazz them up a little bit um, i'm kind of in a clean and simple kick right now so the other um thought i had was um the gnomes i think would be really cute you can see, I, this is the timber embossing folder. This is one we didn't use tonight. You can see I, I was playing around with it and have some dimensional bits stuck on there, but that's okay. Um, you could put a little gnome hanging out with a, a tree ring there, and you could also add a mushroom or two to that from this set. Let's see, I don't like that because then you can't see the stem. Come here. A little mushroom hanging out over here. And you could even add there, uh, I think we cut two because there's two different stems, a short stem and a long stem. Here's the other mushroom cap. Not sure where the stem went, but that's all right. You can also have more than one tree ring because remember all those tree rings that we cut up, we've got multiples. So um, this one I might make up and have, um, I'll post it in our Facebook group, and then I, I will also put it um, in our next newsletter too, in case you're not on, uh, not a Facebook person, um, so that you can see it. So we'll, I'll play around with that one. That might be where the thinking of you comes in with the cute little gnomes and the mushrooms. So, all right, we're going to call it a night here with our clean and simple cards. I think we did good, you guys. Thanks for uh, your votes and helping out with our projects tonight. That was really fun. I And it's leaving me with all sorts of fun little bits <laughs> that I can use on future cards, right? Like uh, I could do copper with the leaves. Now that would be a super cute card. So, hmm. Lots of future things that I can play with and create with. So let's go. I love tonight's cards too. So super clean and simple, good for uh, masculine or really anybody with that kind of nature theme going there. So I'm going to flip the camera around. I love clean and simple too. Okay, let's switch this. <laughs> Oh, technology is being crazy tonight. Thank you so much for joining me this evening and hanging out here in the craft room. That was fun. And uh, just a quick reminder that if you haven't subscribed to the project sheets, you can do there. Blah, blah, blah. Do that at SueStanfield.com. Click on subscribe. Um, celebration is still going on only a little less than two weeks left for celebration um, so it's a great time to pick up some more of that metallic paper for free so take care everyone have a great night and we'll see you next time bye bye